Alrighty, so, all my YouTube fans, sorry I've been slacking on movies. I'm just moving into, just moved into a new house. Got to do renovations to that. But, so what's up with Sally, the Mustang? Uh, she has a rod knock, so I'm going to rebuild her completely. Finally get to do it, about time. Um, and then my oldest kid's Bronco, which she named Garfield. We have to start rebuilding that January next year. Uh, she's only got three more years before she can start driving it, so we're going to start working on that. And then Betty here is going to get a complete and total engine rebuild, interior redone, whole paint job. Pretty much you won't recognize her, but right now I just took her beautiful tires off and put it on Midnight. Now, Midnight is going to be my uh, Jeep, which I have no clue on what I'm doing to it. My youngest one wants me to turn into the Jurassic Park Jeep. My oldest one wants me to just turn into like an ultimate off-road rig. But I'm having a hard time deciding on which one to do. I kind of want to go basic, but I'm not sure. So I will let you guys comment on ideas for it. And hopefully in the ideas, I could possibly bring it into reality and put it onto the channel. And then Cookie here, which is my overland build. She is my official camping rig. As you can tell, I am already starting to work on her uh, with the ladder. I just got a roof rack all out of the junkyard that I am posting on top. So I can put an awning on top and a tent on top. And then after that, the interior will be just... The way it is, that's pretty much only additives I'm doing on the outside, except for newer tires, a possible lift, and a new bumper on the front. I kind of want to do, for the plan, is to remove this entire bumper and put a winch plate push bumper on there. So that way, branches and stuff like that, but it'll have my winch on there in case I get stuck. But other than that, she's not, she's staying basic. Uh except for a little bit outside and on the interior i know everybody on the overlanding they do a lot of additives inside their car this one's going to stay basic because i don't know if i want to keep it permanent in there i have my kids and they want to go inside of it sometimes when we go camping so who knows what will happen on that but the jeep I'm debating on putting a winch on the front of it the way it is, leave it the way it is, put a winch with lights and a light bar on the top. I am ordering um, some Raceline Defender rims and Maxim Razor MT tires, five of them, in 33s. So these tires will go back on my truck if I haven't worn them down by then. Um, and a three and a half inch lift suspension. Now, That'll probably be the basic besides redoing the 4.2 liter that is in there. And it is automatic. So there's not much I'm really doing on the interior except for updating uh, some gauges and maybe the radio and, and speakers. That's about it to where the door, uh, where I can have speakers inside without when I take the doors off during the summer and remove the top. But with the, uh, the 4.2 liter, I am just going to possibly rebuild it maybe beef up the original motor that's in there and same with the tranny um and the transfer case other than that i kind of want to keep it basic but like i said comments on what i should do to that and then with the truck how i told you guys i was going to rebuild the entire motor uh probably put in a stronger trans uh transfer case transmission but she's going to have the same thing, a three and a half inch body lift. Uh, I'm going to put those 31s back on here. And I'm going to redo the bumper to where I have some um, D-rings on the back to tow people behind. But I'm also going to put the same type of bumper I'm putting on the Bronco on the front of this. So that way I can winch out and stuff. Because I do take her up in the woods. And then I'm repainting the entire truck. It's going to be one of those um, Rhino Lion Green. I'm gonna try for so it just doesn't look like the paint gets scuffed and stuff like that. And then I gotta match the canopy to go with it because it goes on top of this one. But that one's gonna be matching with it. And then the interior, as you could tell, it still has the bucket seats in there. I'm or well bench bucket seats, I guess. But 
that's going to be gone and I'm going to put two bench seats in there and then possibly take out the two back seats that are in the back and put speakers in there or um, a homemade toolbox. And then with this one, I'm going to rip out the motor, put a um, high rise camshaft in it, bore it out, stronger valves, pistons, um, rockers and stuff like that. And then eventually, and then put a four barrel carburetor in there and then change it from the Tremec four speed into a Tremec five. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to take it to the track or just cruise around and be able to have that extra gear if someone wants to show up. <laughs> you never know on that. And then with my daughters, she's is a huge NASA fan, huge NASA fan. She loves astrology, loves space, and she kind of wants to go with a, uh, I believe it's purple top and this line here she wants to go maybe white or black and then the rest of it will be blue on the outer portion. I know that for a fact with the color is just everything else I don't know. She's still deciding. But if you guys have any great websites for any astrology car additives or even um, ideas that would improve her because she still wants those little starlight um, microfiber opters lights inside so it just looks like stars inside the car now if you guys have an easier way of doing that please let me know but after that once i start working on these cars that's when i get to start the renovation of the house which i might post as i go on how this house is going to be and how it's going to turn out and like i said i will post it you guys will see every single one of these builds as they go so please like, subscribe, hit me up with ideas, rent, uh, even if it's for renovations or just with the cars. Everything would be appreciative on that part because, you know, the kids, they don't really t like to tell the parents as much on what they want. So ideas, that way I can get their brains rummaging. All right, you guys have a great night. Thanks for uh, listening and subscribing when you can.